channel for physics. Please subscribe my channel. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Physics Partner. Today we are going to discuss a science wonder called Van de Graaff Generator. A machine to make charges was invented in 1929 by a young American called Van de Graaff. Some over 30 meter high based on this idea have been built to produce extremely high potential differences. Before proceeding to his function, I want to recall an amazing clip of comedy legend Mr. Bean. Let's have a look. When the lady touched this Van de Graaff generated dome, her hair was straight and apart from each other. And of course, Mr. Bean with his famous style, he started trying to touch the Van de Graaff generator to feel the same experience. But unfortunately, there was no change in his hair. He asked someone like to check with and he didn't find any changes. Why the lady here was far away from each other? The lady here was charged with like charges and like charges are repel each other where unlike charges are attract each other. This is due to an electrostatic force. Let's discuss how Van de Graaff generator works. Van de Graaff generator experiments are all based on the fact that like charges repel. A Van de Graaff generator pulls electron from the earth, moves them along a belt and stores them on a large sphere. These electrons repel each other and try to get as far away from each other as possible. Spreading out on the surface of the sphere, the earth has lots of room for electrons to spread out upon. So electron will take any available path back to the ground. The grounding rod is a smaller sphere attached by a wire to the earth. It provides a convenient part of electrons to move the ground. If you bring the ground rod closer enough to the large sphere, the electrons rip through the air molecules in order to jump onto the grounding rod, creating a spark and crackling noise. I hope you can hear this sound. The rubber belt inside the Van de Graaff generator runs between two rollers made of different materials, causing electron to transfer from one roller to the rubber and from the rubber onto the other roller by the triboelectric effect. Brushes at the top and bottom provide a source and sink for these charges and the top brush is electrically connected to the Van de Graaff dome and so the charge will spread out across the dome. Let's do some more experiment to understand how it works and what happened. If I attach one stand with very light hair material and if I start the Van de Graaff generator, so you can see negative charges are built up in the hair. Resulting, they start repelling each other and they are far apart from each other. If I do the same with the positive charge and repeat this experiment, there will be the same results because again the positive charges are start repelling each other. Now I attach two different stands with different charges. One is positive and one is negative. Let's see what will happen. So when we do the same thing you can see the attraction between the positive and negative and the same time repulsion within the stand. So stand itself inside it has uh, the repulsion but it is start attracting towards the other stand. If I switch the charges and repeat this experiment is again the same result negative and positive will start attracting each other if we supplied both positive charges let's see what will happen they will start repelling each other if i provide both stands negative charge the same thing will happen they start repelling each other this time i'm doing a different experiment i place two stands with long hanging hairs and I'm going to give in different charges to both. One is positive, you can see in the screen, and one is negative. Let's try. So both are attracting each other, and that's why they become straight, and you can easily experience the force of attraction between the unlike charges. Another way of demonstrate the Van de Graaff generator function, we can make the instrument set up like that also. When you switch on with the one negative charge, you can see they are start repelling each other with the stand and the position is in front of you. Let's try a ping pong ball experiment. It will definitely attract. Why it happens? Look at the charges of the ping pong. If they are mixed with positive and negative, when I brought it near to the dome, it will start attracting. 
because dome is provided positive charges so positive charges are repel each other whereas the negative charges are start attracting each other you can see there in the screen negative charges are attract each other let's do an interesting experiment by switching negative and positive charges quickly look at here so what is happening here you can see the ball is going to be switching the charges from negative to positive and very interesting tackling sound is here if i stop it it's completely discharge and become a neutral and finally the very very famous electrical fan was there which you can operate by the electrostatic machine called van de graaff so if you apply the positive charges they start repelling each other resulting the fan is start moving van de graaff generator is a wonderful machine and still teachers are using to demonstrate the electrostatic forces in the classes so i hope you enjoyed the video take care of yourself see you in the next video goodbye